News in brief. Demonstrators in the eastern city of Awamiya in Saudi Arabia have taken to the streets to protest against the al Saud regime. The demonstrators chanted slogans against the ruling monarch and denounced the suppression of protests in the country. Protesters have held the demonstrations on a regular basis in Saudi Arabia since February 2011. UN Human Rights Chief Navi Pillay slams Saudi Arabia for executing seven people on Wednesday. She says the executions violate international standards. The executed Saudis were convicted of organizing armed robberies, activists say. Some of them were minors when they were arrested in 2006. The government of Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper continues to prevent the UN Special Rapporteur on Indigenous Peoples from making an official visit to Canada. James Anaya has said the federal government has ignored his request to visit Canada in order to investigate the human rights situation of the indigenous people. Former British Prime Minister Tony Blair has come under fire for his role in the US-led occupation of Iraq. An online poll by YouGov shows that the majority of Britons believe invading Iraq was wrong. It also shows that more than a fifth believe Blair should be tried for misleading the country. The International Monetary Fund, the IMF, has called for urgent action to revive economic growth in Palestine. The fund has warned about the deteriorating situation in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. It said Israeli restrictions and political uncertainty have hampered economic growth and caused a rise in unemployment. The UN Security Council expresses grave concern over the fallout of the Syrian crisis into Lebanon. Council members say they're deeply concerned about repeated cross-border fire, which has caused the death and injury among the Lebanese. Lebanese officials had earlier said foreign-backed militants in Syria are endangering the country's security. Thousands of people stage a rally in the Belgian capital, Brussels, to protest EU austerity plans. Protesters from different European countries also called on their leaders to create jobs. Thousands of students have also hit the streets in Spain to protest education budget cuts and layoffs in schools and universities. And Indian-administered Kashmir's main city of Srinagar is under curfew for the second day after five Indian paramilitary police and two civilians were killed on Wednesday. No one has claimed responsibility. India has said the militants appeared to be from Pakistan, but Islamabad has denied that accusation.